For the APC, the forms are 100 million naira, expression of interest and nomination. Uh, for the PDP, is about 50 million. And we've got this number of people buying. Some people have said it's it's atrocious for a country that is so poor and people can't even eat in some places. Change blindness is a term used by psychology, which politicians use as an advanced strategy tool. Human beings can only focus on so much. You hide something from the people, throw several things at them, and then what you're really doing will go unnoticed until it's too late. Is that what's happening? Are they throwing several aspirants at us so that we don't know exactly what they want to do? Now what is going on is that because these people know, and, and they know even within the structures of their political party, they know that these people are not serious presidential candidates. Then the question you ask yourself is why throw 100 million naira? You know, at the party, knowing that you're not going to get anywhere. Because mm. even the most optimistic politician among them, they know that they cannot get anywhere. So why are they putting the money into the parties? It's simple. What they are doing is not, you know, buying, uh, you know, forms to offer the presidency. Of course, they will give them the forms as a matter of formality. But what they are doing is that they are contributing money to their parties. That's what they are doing. They are telling them to bring money. And perhaps, maybe a lot of them are also worried about the, uh, you know, making contribution to the to the parties. Of course, there's you know, a, you know, a law, you know, the, the, the electoral law on campaign financing and all that. So what they want to do is to try to go through the back door and to violate these laws and contribute money to the party. Now, this money, people have made all kinds of projections about this money that are being, uh, speculations about this money that have been contributed that it is business. And they have speculated that what usually happens is that by the time they make this, these contributions, uh, at the end of the day, when the party does not consider them, and then they, you know, they have to bargain. Instead of the 100 million that they have paid in, that they have paid to the party, they will bargain to be given 150 million. So they make extra 50 million naira cash. That makes some sense, really, but that is not the issue. They are not going to ask the parties to give them the money back. They are not going to, or the candidates that have succeeded to give them the money back, because these candidates and the parties will need this money for the election. So what's going to happen is that if they are like promising notes. They are going to wait be with the belief that the party is going to go through and at, attain the presidency of this country. And then each of these people that have contributed money will be considered for the various boards and parastatals and ministries in the government and agencies. So that's what the whole thing is all about. Don't, for a lot of them, politics is business. Politics is not about you know, service to the people. That's why their politics is not backed up by any strong ideological or reasonable ideological compass. They do not, they do not stand on any serious, any serious you know, philosophical construct. That's why it is easy to move from the PDP to the APC where somebody annoys them in the, in, in the PDP and then move from the APC back to the PDP where somebody disappoints them at the, at the APC. So it is business for a lot of people. And so the 100 million that you are seeing, you know, is an investment, uh, uh, you know, in the fortunes of the party. And that investment, uh, you know, they are hoping they are going to uh, uh, recoup. So it gives you a very good picture of what is happening that in spite of the crisis of governance that we are going that is going on in this country, in spite of the insecurity in Nigeria that we have continued to witness, in spite of failures of governance in so many aspects of our national life and the suffering of the Nigerian people, the, the university system is closed down and all that, the politicians are still carrying on as if nothing matters. 2023 is the final for me. I think is the final, you know, uh, 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 test of whether we are going to begin to move forward for the very first time or whether mm -hmm. we now slip into complete anarchy. Because we can't continue like this as a country. We need to begin to move, make, make progress. Um, but, but, you know, in the end, it's the delegates that will decide who the, you know, uh, candidates will become. Perhaps induced or perhaps... Um, I know. Yes. I know, I know, I know. In theory, that is what it is. The de delegates declare and then mm -hmm. decide. We yes. all know that in theory. Okay. But in practice, because some of us have been involved, we have seen what goes on in the country. And a lot of you people, there even those in the media, and people who are keen watchers of the polity, that the delegates do not have a say. They are there to fulfill all righteousness. The those who have the say are the governors that pick up, that, that, that selected those delegates. They are selected with a purpose, with a sense of mission. 
you, you, you know, you, you know, because they are the ones that back all this party. So that, that, that's what it tells you that we have a lot of problems even with our democracy. A situation where the people themselves do not, you know, contribute anything to the development of their political party. But that these parties are being bankrolled by powerful people. The he who says the pattern must ultimately be paid it. So when you are talking about delegates, which delegates you're going to ask? They are there to fulfill, you know, a, a, a righteousness. Uh, and, and of course, you know that they are also they all also all have their prizes. Delegates are not settled in naira; they are settled in dollars. I have seen this personally. I mean, being involved in in uh, monitoring uh, uh, some of the, the party primaries that we have seen in this in you know uh, in some parts of the country. So we see we know what happens. So the delegates are bribed the same way voters are bribed during in, you know election, and and that gives you an idea of 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 where we are. And sometimes, you know, you ask me for a solution, I have all the solution. I mean, you know, but what I know is that something has to give within the polity. Something radical, something revolutionary has to happen. Mm. The people themselves must be able for the first time to say, look, we stand for something.